Once upon a time, deep in the forest, there was a small deer girl named Lily. When she was a baby, her parents were taken from her, and she was left in the forest all alone. As time passed, Lily grew to be clever and strong. On warm summer nights, she would sit for hours by the stream and wonder if it would be fun to live in the water. Lily had made a small shack for herself in the woods and called it Kissing Town. She was no longer afraid to be alone. She knew her enemies by sight and by smell, and she knew how to enter the nearby villages unseen. There were many nights where Lily would sneak into a village to steal babies, claiming that they still smelled fresh, so she had better bury them in the forest quickly. Although small, Lily had learned to defend herself against the townspeople. She was quite dangerous. Afternoons would go by, and Lily would play her musical saw in the woods and invite her friends over for tea parties. Benjamin Bunny, would you like another sugar cookie? She would ask as Benjamin clumsily tipped over his teacup. Mr. Raccoon, would you kindly stop your sneaking about? Lily did talk a lot, and quite often she would not make any sense, or so you would think. One day, as the afternoon was going by, she said, "I'll tell you a secret that I have." Benjamin Bunny began to shake and dropped his carrot into the tea. Mr. Raccoon's eyes became wide and curious. Madame Butterfly and the squirrels fluttered around anxiously as Lily leaned in to tell her special secret. One day, I'm going to have big horns on my head, like my father Buck. Lily, they are called antlers, and I can already see them. Yes, but my horns are special. Before my mother was taken away, she told me that one day the magic would start, and I would learn what my antlers can do. Cried Benjamin Bunny, stomping his feet in excitement. Lily looked down and shuffled her feet into the moss. I don't know yet. Don't worry, Lily. Your antlers are beautiful, and when the time is right, you will know," said Madame Butterfly. Lily smiled and started to dance wildly on the table. Everyone laughed and smiled. They continued their party late into the night. No one even noticed when Lily snuck off towards the village in search of babies.